I'm Joe Wallace for Turntabling.net. Yes, it's another shaky cam edition of the Vinyl Road Rage videos. And uh, as promised, it's time to take a listen to the man or band or collective or whatever the hell he, they, it, are is Nigel Peppercock, which uh, was the subject of an earlier Turntabling video. We only got to see the, uh, the images on that one. But uh, this is the one that says... It's not for kids. It's not for those under the age of 18. It's, uh, here, I'll just give you the quote again. Yancey says, Sorry, cowboy. You must be 18 or over to buy this LP. Contains explicit imagery inside, and oh boy, does it. Oh, yes. Let's just say that, well, some people might feel a little uncomfortable. But that's all right. That's their damage. A little kink. Well, what did it, kink? Well, yes, a, a, a little kinky photography makes the world go round. Uh, the reviews, the supposed reviews from Newsweek and Magnet and uh, Richard Simmons say, be afraid, be very afraid, the soundtrack for post-9-11 America, etc., etc. Well, let's stop talking about it. Oh, look at that. Look at that cover artwork. Doesn't that make you want to know what exactly that record sounds like? That's why I bought it. I mean, really. Don't you... Don't you? Don't you? Let's discover the horror together. I have a funny feeling this is going to be abrasive and loud and silly and, well, damn. Just look at it. Can you see that? That's the, uh... These are the images that Nigel Peppercock has chosen to sell his or their album with. Let's take a listen on the Crosley USB portable turntable. No, I'm not being paid to mention them. It's just that, for better or for worse, this is the unit that I've chosen to demo these records with on the road, and if you like the way uh, they come out uh, audio-wise, not that you can really tell from a YouTube clip, but uh, if you're intrigued and you're interested in getting one or two of these for yourself for your own road tripping adventures, uh, you, you can't say that you didn't see it in action. You don't have to buy it sight unseen because here we go. Nigel Peppercock. That's abrasive. That's kind of fun. I think I'm digging me some Nigel Peppercock. Take that as you might, but uh, wow. It's fun. It's silly. They're ripping off Black Sabbath in a major way, and uh, they're snotty and ridiculous. They're, they're probably all 20, and well, why not? Nigel Peppercock. Although my, my chief complaint is we still haven't heard the dynamic range of the Crossley USB turntable yet, because again, the, 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 this particular recording, a, a little bit lo-fi perhaps, a little bit, uh, uh, I won't say non-existent in the production values department, but uh, let's, let's just say that it's not Arthur Baker and New Order here. But uh, that was, well, let's take another listen. Let's listen to a different portion of the Nigel Peppercock album and see if it gets any different. Okay then. Well, hello laryngitis. No, it's not horrible for what it is. Uh, not exactly my cup of tea all the time, but you know, some days when you come home from a really crap day at work, you slam the door, you go to the fridge and open up two beers, not just one, but two, because that's the kind of day you had. This is the soundtrack for the night you're going to have with those two beers in your hand. Of course, for uh, 
legal age drinkers only. Thank you very much. And that's it for me. I'm Joe Wallace. This is another installment of Vinyl Road Rage, the videos from the six state indie record store blogging trip I'm currently on, reporting from Austin, Texas. Uh, go to turntabling.net to learn more and to see pictures and uh, get the snark and all that. There will be uh, many more videos to come. Thanks for watching.